Fresh off the panel, I moderated. Vince Lancy joins me now, uh, founding partner of Echo Bay Partners. Thank Vince, you so welcome much. Welcome back. Um, it's great seeing you. I am holding a white tiger. Yes. There's a reason I'm holding this. Well, There's an important you story you want to share with us. You don't have the protection against the white tiger. But he's uh, so cute and that? cuddly. He is. <laughs> this one is. He's dangerous. Okay, tell us your tell us your life lesson, Vince. The the. Uh, you know, people, uh, part of the, the topic of the panel was geopolitics, and you can't ignore uh, you can't ignore the role of central banking, coordinated central banking, when you look at geopolitics. And I think uh, you know they've done a lot of good uh, in managing the markets, but central bankers, uh, it's an art more than a science. So when a central banker says lowering rates is going to kill deflation, it will ten years from now. Conversely, raising interest rates is going to be chasing inflation. So when they pull out a rock that says, this rock keeps away white tigers, and there's no white tigers around, doesn't mean they're right, it just means they're lucky. You, unfortunately, have a white tiger. And so I have the wrong rock with me today, and it's your fault. Okay, let's bring this down to the other rock. How's that for a segue, gold? Um, Not a pet rock, a precious rock. Where do you see it headed? It's an obedient pet precious rock. Where do you see it? How do you see it? Do you love it right now? Um, always. Uh, uh, some facts, I think, that are just spot on. And, you know, Christian Precious Metals Group is not an organization that I agree with on all CPM their analysis. Group? CPM. Yeah. Uh, uh, but they did a report recently, and I was shocked, uh, because they're very conservative in general, that between yeah. 1968 and 2016, the proper efficient frontier of allocation of gold in a portfolio was as high as 25%. Now, the past they may not predict the future, but I think that that's a harbinger uh, of safety as being an important part of your portfolio. Um, what I mean to say is, uh, I don't care about the price of gold. Of course I do when we have conversations about it. Uh, I view gold as a wealth preserver. I would love it to go to $1,800 tomorrow. That would be fun. But that's not its purpose, and I think CPM Group is right when they say uh, that gold will uh, slowly, it'll increase by 68% so on average. So if you are looking to see your money grow, are you in the mining stocks? Uh, that is the problem. If, if, if you're buying gold as an investment, you're wrong. And by that I mean it doesn't go up. But mining stocks, an entirely different story. You're buying a mining company for the added value of the management for how they're run. And, and unfortunately, as we discussed, so many mining companies are undervalued. And how do we get them to their proper value? And I think a big part of that is how the companies are run, how they get their message out that they're run, and frankly, they'd be better served to do a little PR for themselves. Gold or silver, where would you be right now? You know I hate that, but I'm going to answer. Or Bitcoin. I said short Bitcoin in February. <laughs> Red Zip say Loquidor. Gold um, or silver. But, but to answer you about yeah. gold or silver, gold, you own it for 20 years, or you trade it for three months. Silver, there's three silvers. Silver below $16, silver green 16 and 22, and lunacy silver above $22. Now's the time to buy silver if you're looking for a move between 16 and $19. Lunacy silver's above $22. That's a pretty low threshold, according to some silver CEOs, Vince. Uh, no, no argument there, but they're talking their own book. The reality of it is this. Most silver mines, you could see by where silver tops out, yeah. they hedge their production between $18 and $19. So when silver gets above $19, there's no hedging to stop it. Then it's speculative silver. Then it's hold on to your shoes, we're going for a ride silver. Um, is gold going to have a breakout this year? Uh, uh, to echo what I said in the past, I am calling for gold to hit 1700 by the end of the year. However, uh, not being naive, it's not looking good right now. Uh, gold should, if it's seasonally speaking, gold should make a high in the late summer, which means we've got to hold above 1285, number one. Number two, the climb has to start. We've made the lows. If we don't hold above 1285, I'm wrong. As long as we're above 1285, I still see us approaching 1700 by year end. And I get to keep the white tiger, if you're wrong. I have the Vin rock. <laughs> Just don't bring the tiger around when I have the rock. Vince Lancy, thank you so much. Good energy here. You feel it in New York City, Mines and Money? 
It's awesome. It's awesome. It's thank much, you. much more exciting than I expected. Thank you so much, Vince. And thank you for watching. We'll have more for you on Kitco.com. Thanks, Thanks sure Vince. Big point. Thanks, Vince.